What's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and welcome to a Max for Live tutorial. I just figured out a really cool way to load dynamic web pages inside of the effects window down here. So it's really easy <laughs> and it's super cool. So if, uh, I've just got a blank Max instrument open here. I'm just going to erase what comes inside of it and I'm going to type in M for message and type in URL and HTTP colon slash slash www dot joshuacasper.com sweet and now that I have that I'm gonna come in and type N and then J web and I'm just gonna hit OK and I'm gonna come out of here into this here pretty sweet and I'm gonna right click and say add to presentation I'm also gonna come into the inspector and turn on and enable scroll bars and now, if I lock this down and click this message, it's going to load my website inside of this window. See? And I've got my scroll bars to scroll along. And that is pretty sweet. And it all works. My whole website works, except for the videos. Um, I'm not sure how to get that working. Maybe that will be a future tutorial. But if maybe you have uh, some tutorial sites or some naughty picture sites that you wanted to load and have right down here for your viewing pleasure while you're working on your max tracks or while you're working on your tracks uh, that'd be this would be the way to do it so what I'm gonna do is unlock that and I'm gonna come into view patch inspector I'm gonna say open in presentation cool close that lock it down and I'm gonna save it and I'm just gonna type out load test site or a load site test one and overwrite it and as you can see down here it's going to show up right around there but uh, what I need to do now is come in and resize that window so if I just save close out let's just make sure it's working cool but we can make this a little bit better by uh, resizing the window inside of there so what I'm going to do is Oops, I don't want to do that. I'm going to open up the window here, click on it, and just resize it to fit inside of the box down here. And we can make it as long as we want. Something like that. Lock it down. Save it. Close it. Boom! So now anytime, like let's say this was a tutorial site like my site is, you could just come in and load your, uh, your website right inside. You wouldn't even have to open your browser because, you know, Chrome it just takes up too much uh, CPU. When you have like one Chrome window open, it takes up like 250 megabytes of RAM. So uh, this is great. It's fun. And uh, you can think of a lot of cool things to do with it. And uh, I hope you learned something. See you next time.